Now, the theme for International Women's Day 2018 is Press for Progress. In its quest to celebrate women, CNews is sharing the successes of women in a range of fields across Trinidad and Tobago. We give you Carl Prince Mandela, a local style icon and the owner of Prindela Fashions. At a glance, one can easily ascertain that she is remarkably proud of her African heritage. It is obvious in the way she dresses. Her interest in African garments started in 1970 around the start of the Black Power movement. Now, noting changes in the social climate, she thinks it's a sure sign of progress that so many people now have an interest in wearing African garments. Here she recalls a time when she was ridiculed for any attempt to pay homage to her culture. And very often when we dress up, especially when we wear our head wraps, you would get little snickering. And what happened? Your head hurting you today? Typical. And sometimes it's from our own people. Yeah. You know, but you just have to ignore those. And sometimes now when I see them, they fully clothed African head to toe. Commenting on the challenges faced by women in Trinidad and Tobago, Ms. Mandela said education and confidence in and acceptance of self are two major factors to consider in one's bid to press for progress. She also urged the elders to lead by example. Beavering the C News at 7 for more of what she had to see. And sticking with the celebration of women, this week kicks off a series of events for International Women's Day worldwide with the theme Press for Progress. Here in Trinidad and Tobago, we celebrate 60 years of this movement, showing a united front for gender equality. Our correspondent, Janine Brown, is at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine campus, where they are hosting a series of events to observe International Women's Day. She gives us this report. The panel discussion, Press for Justice at the University of the West Indies this morning. Of course, that team goes in line with the International Women's Day theme of 2018, Press for Progress. Now, this morning's panel discussion was hosted by the Interclub of Trinidad and Tobago and the Institute of Gender and Development Studies at the University campus. Now, if anyone has been even remotely paying attention to news headlines in recent times, then they would be aware that there has been a very alarming increase in crimes against women. So, of course, that did, um, that concern did raise head in this morning's discussion with the representative for the Coalition Against Domestic Violence, Ms. Roberta Clark, calling for, um, you know, the authorities to be more swift in the administration of justice, um, especially with, um, with recent murders of, of victims. And we also had the feature addressed by Mrs. Sean Rowley, of course, the wife of Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, who um, by all means admitted that she is not an, advo um, an activist sorry, in the field, but she did um, you know, lend her support to those who have been on the ground fighting for the cause for um, the rights of women and the girls. She also um, touched on the issue of women in politics, um, admitting or recognizing rather that Trinidad and Tobago has been leading in the Caribbean, especially um, as it relates to the, um, the representation of women in politics, of course, um, also with the soon-to-be president, Ms. Paula May Weeks, um, soon to be inducted in, in um, March, later this month. So that was the, um, just a bit, brief synopsis of what took place at the panel discussion this morning. There also were other topics touched on, such as peace, security, and justice, which I just mentioned, sexual justice, another very interesting topic, economic justice, and ecological justice. I'm reporting for, at the University of the West Indies. I am Janine Brown, Christine News Live.